Hi, this is Ryan Hughes from the PIX40 training team. In this video, we will create and process a project with PIX40MATIC using data captured with PIX40Catch. PIX40MATIC is an advanced photogrammetry software that generates precise 2D and 3D representations of reality using overlapping 2D images. PIX40Catch is the next generation of terrestrial image capture using your mobile device to capture high quality data for photogrammetry. There is more than one way to process a PIX40Catch dataset with PIX40MATIC. This video will address one workflow and highlight some useful features and tools. We will first launch PIX40MATIC and log in with a valid PIX40MATIC license to get started. We can drag and drop the images onto the PIX40MATIC interface to create a new project. Give the project an easily identifiable name and identify the desired pathway. When ready, click Start. In this video, we will work with ground control points and auto tags. We will start by importing the GCPs. Open the tie points menu at the bottom of the interface and click select from disk. Find the TXT or CSV file containing the geolocation data and click open. Select the correct horizontal and vertical coordinate reference systems and if appropriate, the associated geoid model. To learn more about coordinate reference systems in PIX40MATIC, please consult the PIX40 technical support knowledge base and tutorial videos. Once you have assigned the appropriate coordinate reference systems, click Apply to import the GCP or checkpoint data. Look at the initial position of the imported GCPs to ensure they correspond with the images. Since the GCPs were already marked in PIX40Catch and we are working with auto tags, we can import these marks directly to PIX40MATIC, eliminating the need to manually mark the targets. To do so, click on the three dots and select Import Marks. Select the appropriate file exported from PIX40Catch and click Open. The marks will now be added to the GCPs and we can see that the auto tags have been added as manual tie points. If there are any GCPs that were not marked in PIX40Catch, you can mark them manually in PIX40MATIC. We can select one of the tie points to see the images associated with this tie point. Mark each GCP in at least 10 to 15 images. Once all of the GCPs have been marked, we can open the Processing Options menu. Since the images were captured with PIX40Catch, this template will be automatically selected when importing the images. Next, expand and enable calibration. You can work directly with the default settings set by the processing template or modify them as required for the project. Click Start to calibrate the cameras. Once the images have been calibrated, we should look at the quality report to ensure that it meets the requirements of the project. If we want more information, we can export the detailed quality report as well. The quality report gives various information regarding the ground sampling distance, the root mean square error of the GCPs, and the calibration quality. If we want to focus our reconstructions on only a specific area, we can add a region of interest at this point. The region of interest can be added in either 2D or 3D and can be used to remove unwanted areas around the outside of the project area. In addition, the region of interest can be used to remove overhanging objects such as trees or the ceiling depending on the project area. Adding a region of interest can result in cleaner point clouds as well as reduce the processing time by removing unwanted areas from the reconstructions. Next, in the Processing Options, we will enable the Depth Point Cloud, Dense Point Cloud, and Depth and Dense Fusion Point Cloud. Since we are working with PIX40Catch data captured with an iPhone equipped with a LiDAR sensor, we can generate the Depth Point Cloud, which adds additional detail to our project. We will also enable the Digital Surface Model and Orthomosaic with the default settings and click Start. Once PIX40MATIC has finished generating the deliverables, take some time to explore each of the reconstructions. If you notice noise in the point cloud, you can edit the point cloud and disable these points. If you modify the point clouds, you must regenerate the digital surface model and orthomosaic for those changes to be considered. 
you can switch between 3D and 2D to view the different reconstructions. Once you are satisfied with the quality of the deliverables, you can export them to continue your post-processing workflows. If you work with PIX40 Survey, you can export the point cloud directly from the PIX40Matic interface. The advantage of transferring the project in this manner is that the images are also transferred, enabling additional vectorization options in PIX40 Survey. We hope this tutorial video demonstrating a PIX40Matic workflow with PIX40Catch data was helpful. We'll see you in the next video.